Hello students, in the today's video, we will learn about different types of graphs of motion, slope or gradient and basic graph shapes in detail. So let's start the today's video. There are three main motion graphs that tends to be studied in kinematics. First is that displacement time graph represented by dt graph. Second is velocity time graph represented by vt graph. And third is that acceleration time graph represented by at graph. These are three graphs studied in kinematics. Displacement is a lot like distance to be exact. It's how far you are from starting position. Velocity is like a speed but with a direction. For example, 5 km per hour is a speed and 5 km per hour north is velocity. Acceleration is rate at which the velocity is changing. So we were talking about displacement, velocity and acceleration. After that, let's discuss a question why we have to study graphs before discussing graphs. First point is that graphs makes the study easy and interesting. Second point is that by using graphs, we can solve hard problems in minutes. Third is that sometimes describing the motion of an object is occasionally hard to do with words. Sometimes graphs helps make motion easier to picture. After that, let's understand what is slope. In mathematics, the slope or gradient of a line is a number that describes both the direction and the steepness of the line. A slope with a great absolute value indicates a steeper line. The direction of a line is either increasing, decreasing, horizontal or vertical. Another definition of slope is that, in other words, the rate of change of y with respect to x is called slope. It is represented by small m. Mathematical definition of slope is that slope is equals to the tangent of angle formed with the x-axis. After that, let's discuss formula of slope. Mathematically, slope small m is equals to change in y coordinates divided by change in x coordinate is equals to delta y divided by delta x is equals to tan theta, where theta is the angle formed by the straight line with x axis and change is equals to final value minus initial value. Let's understand slope by graphical method. Graphically, let's take a straight line whose coordinates of endpoints are x1, y1 and x2, y2. So the change in y coordinate is equals to y2 minus y1 and the change in x coordinate is equals to x2 minus x1. Then slope small m is equals to delta y divided by delta x is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. After that, let's check a question on slope of a straight line and understand this, how to find out slope of a straight line. Question number first, find out the slope of a straight line if the following data is given. A. Theta is equals to 45 degree, that is straight line formed an angle of 45 degree with x axis. B. Coordinates of two points on a straight line are 4,3 and minus 2,5. Solution of this problem for a part by using the formula of slope with angle theta. Slope small m is equals to tan theta is equals to tan 45 degree. The value of tan 45 degree is 1. Slope small m is equals to 1. For b part by using the formula slope small m is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Let's consider x1, y1 is equals to minus 2 comma 5. So x1 is equals to minus 2 and y1 is equals to 5. x2, y2 is equals to 4 comma 3. So x2 is equals to 4 and y2 is equals to 3. So slope small m is equals to 3 minus 5 upon 4 minus minus 2 is equals to minus 2 upon 6. Slope small m is equals to minus 2 upon 6. In this way, we will find out the slope of a straight line. After that, let's discuss some basic point about slope. First point is that slope depends on angle theta. If theta is equals to zero, that is line parallel to x axis, then slope small m is equals to zero because value of 10 zero degree is equals to zero. 
If theta is greater than 0 and less than 90, that is theta is acute angle, then slope small m is greater than 0 or positive. If theta is equals to 90 degree, that is line perpendicular to x axis, then slope small m is equals to infinite. If theta is greater than 90 degree, less than 180 degree, that is theta is obtuse angle, then slope small m is less than 0 or negative. If theta is equals to 180 degree, that is line anti parallel to x axis, then slope small m is equals to 0. This means that if theta is equals to 0 and theta is equals to 180 degree, the slope of a line is equals to 0. Second point is that the slope or gradient of a displacement time graph of an object gives the magnitude of velocity of the object. This means that if you find out the slope of a displacement time graph, this gives velocity of an object. Third point is that the slope or gradient of a velocity time graph of an object gives the magnitude of the acceleration of the object. This means that if you find out the slope or gradient of a velocity time graph of an object gives acceleration of an object. After that, let's discuss some points about area enclosed by the graph. First point is that area enclosed by the velocity time graph gives the displacement of the object. This means that if we find out the area enclosed by the velocity time graph gives the displacement of the object. Second point is that area enclosed by the acceleration time graph of an object gives the velocity of the object. This means that if we find out the area enclosed by the acceleration time graph gives velocity of the object. After that, let's start with basic graph shapes. First, when an object is not moving, that is, position is not changing, distance is constant, and velocity is 0 meter per second. Then these graphs are formed. Graph first, distance time graph, shows that an object covers a distance of 20 km. After this, graph is constant, it means that at 20 km, body is at rest. Graph 2 velocity time graph shows that velocity of an object is 0 meter per second. It means object is at rest. Second, when the object is moving at a constant velocity in positive direction, that is position is uniformly changing with time and acceleration is 0 meter per second square. Then these graphs are formed. Graph first, distance time graph, shows that an object covers equal distance in equal time interval, that is, distance and time are changing at a constant rate upwards. Graph 2, velocity time graph, shows that velocity of an object is 20 meter per second and horizontal above the time axis. Graph third, acceleration time graph, shows that when velocity is 20 meter per second, that is constant, then acceleration of object is 0 meter per second square, it means object is not accelerating.